Hi, my name is Joseph Fernandez, and I'm a robotics and computer science teacher here at Sun Lake High School in Lando Lakes, Florida. I've been teaching computer science for a couple of years at the high school level. Um, before that, or along with that, I've also been teaching robotics for an extra year or two at the high school level, so about three, four years. And then uh, before that, I was actually teaching at the university collegiate level, uh, mostly engineering. So I've been bringing that experience into uh, teaching computer science and robotics at the high school level. Um, before all this, I was an engineer, worked as an engineer for like almost 20 years out in the field, specifically in the nuclear industry. So I did a lot of uh, computer modeling, analysis, learned a lot of computer programs, a lot about robotics, um, and a lot about you know the nuclear industry in general, obviously, uh, working for so long. I got familiar with coding because a lot of different places use a lot of different codes for a lot of different things, uh, different types of analysis and so forth. Specifically, I took this preparation course from CodeHS.com because I had heard it was a really good and I actually heard previous people who had used it and successfully passed the test. So I wanted to see what they had to offer and see if it could help me out in studying for it. And the answer is yes yes it did the one big thing that i was really enjoying was the programming aspect they have a programming that then is verified uh, automatically for correctness which was really good and it helped me debug some of my some of the codes i had that i thought worked but didn't work the way they need to so it was actually really helpful in that end so i was better prepared for the test which i did well on obviously i passed so that was great um really the relationships of terminologies and how that interacts, even across coding languages. That was one of the big things tested on the test, so I was happy to have a resource. And while I liked the programming aspect where you can program, really the big resource was the quizzes that they give along the way. You can go back and review them, and they can even give you the correct answer and explain why that answer was that you chose was wrong. So I was actually able to use the quiz answers to go back and study and really focus on those relationship terminology points to make sure I had a down pat, which uh, it worked out for me, so that was uh, really good. Um, again, I'd like to thank uh, CodeHS.com for allowing me to take the course, and uh, I definitely agree that it was something that contributed to me passing the test. 